every day you wake up and every day you face the reality again that your child is gone. I never knew you could die of a broken heart, but I thought I might do that. A mother and grandmother are struggling with the death of their loved one while fighting to keep the man who caused her death behind bars. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. A Southeast Texas family is desperately trying to keep their loved one's killer in jail. Paul Armstrong pleaded guilty to a drinking and driving collision that killed 20-year-old Lindsey Galloway in 2009. In 2011, a judge sentenced him to five years in prison for intoxication manslaughter. But the family says that's not enough. They're urging the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles to prevent him from getting out before he serves the full sentence. And the Galloway family is asking for the public's help. KFTM reporter Justin Hinton is investigating. He joins us live in the studio with more. Justin. June 12, 2009, a day Christine Galloway and her mother, Helen Light, will never forget. That's the day their world turned upside down when their daughter and granddaughter was killed by a drunk driver. She was my daughter. She was my best friend. We... Pictures and memories. We did everything together. Two ways Christine Galloway can connect with her only child. Galloway is trying to cope with what happened at 3 in the morning, June 12, 2009. She had dreams of going to college and one day marrying and having children. And uh, those are things she'll never have the opportunity to have because of one person's choice. That person, Paul Armstrong. Lindsay Galloway was driving down Highway 105, heading home from visiting a friend. A knock at the Galloway front door awakened the family. It wasn't Lindsay, but the police. When I opened the door, they told me that there had been a crash and that my daughter did not survive. <laughs> For once, I can't fix anything. I can't say, well, let's sleep on this and we'll, we'll figure out something tomorrow because you see, that wasn't anything to do. The crash happened right here in front of Legacy Christian Academy. Investigators say Galloway was traveling in the eastbound direction heading towards Major Drive when Armstrong's Ford Explorer crashed into her from behind, sending her 456 feet down the road and forcing her back seat into the front. I even questioned the police about the measurements and they assured me that absolutely there was no mistake that they measured it three times. 456 feet. Yeah, that's a football field and a half. The family went to the hospital to see Lindsay one last time. They couldn't say goodbye. It was too late for that. They could only stand, talk to the daughter and granddaughter they'd lost and grieve. That day was... Thinking about that day ignites a new wave of painful memories for her grandmother, <sighs> Helen Light, still angry at what one man did. That, way, that day was the very worst day of my life. In 2011, a judge sentenced Armstrong to five years for intoxication manslaughter. He's serving his time in a central Texas prison, but in October, after serving two and a half years, he becomes eligible for parole. This letter came in the mail, yes, delivering the news. My heart sank. I felt sick at my stomach. I would give anything if my daughter had just been given five years. So the family is fighting to keep Armstrong behind bars. Every day, Light writes letters to the parole board reminding them of the wreck and what it's done to her family, a fight launched from the memories these books contain. I'm no longer fighting for me. Um, my daughter's gone. There's not anything that's going to bring her back. I fight every day so no other parent has to feel what I've had to feel. Trinkets and keepsakes line Lindsay's gravestone, a culmination of friends and family dropping by to say hello. Sometimes I might not come out for quite a while. And other times I can't stay away and I'll come out and just sit and cry still can't really believe she's gone. Questions remain. How would her personality have changed? What would she have been like in college? Questions that don't have any answers, but ones that provide inspiration for their fight to educate people about the dangers of drinking and driving and the destruction it causes. A fight that stays with them long after they say goodbye and head home. May 9th would have been Lindsay Galloway's 24th birthday. 
If you'd like to partner with a family and send letters to the parole board, you can. Just log on to our website, kfdm.com. You'll find the contact number as well as the address and fax number for sending those letters. Reporting live in the studio, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News.